Hi, I'm Alex and this is Tank Tested. Today we're visiting the Glen Echo Park Aquarium to take a look at the tank on the left of this shot. We've been here before to explore an oyster bed tank on the other side of the gallery. I'll leave a link to that video at the end of this one. Today we're focusing on this stream tank. And don't worry, we'll get to that big tank on the right in a later video, so hit the subscribe button for that. This tank holds 120 gallons, four feet across, two feet tall, and two feet deep. It was built by aquascaper Nick Kinzer and was inspired by the local creeks and streams he visits. Like all tanks at the Glen Echo Park Aquarium, this setup is designed to celebrate the aquatic ecosystems in the Chesapeake Bay watershed. In this video, I'll outline the details of this setup. What stands out to me in this aquarium is the rock work. About 500 pounds of rock were used to create this artificial stream bed. All the rocks were purchased from a local stone yard and mimic the geology of the streams in this area. The hardscape doesn't just look nice though. It also provides a wonderful habitat for the fish in this setup. This tank is home to a small darter and a white sucker that enjoys skittering across the rocks and poking around the substrate of this aquarium. More at home in the water column above are a small school of creek chubs, a small shiner, and a juvenile sunfish. Because the aquarists have a scientific collection permit, all of the fish were legally collected from a local stream in Maryland and brought to the aquarium where they live out the rest of their lives. And they're fed a mixture of frozen food and pellets. The substrate of the tank is a mix of pool sand and locally collected sand from the streams nearby. It covers up a support structure of styrofoam that secures the rock work and helps reduce the overall weight of the aquarium. In the back of the tank is a small stand of Vallisneria americana, or American eelgrass. Since the substrate is inert, fertilizing root tabs are added to the base of the eelgrass every six to eight weeks. To help the grass grow in healthily, pressurized CO2 is added to this tank, which runs on relatively low light. To mimic the habitat of a fast-moving stream, a Fluval FX6 canister filter is used to create significant flow in the tank. This gives the fish a current to swim through and causes the valve to wave softly in the background. This setup is about a year old and is still evolving. If you'd like to create your own version of this aquarium, I've left links to many of the supplies used in the description of this video. I want to thank the Glen Echo Park Aquarium for allowing me to film this setup. If you'd like to know more about them, there's a link to their website in the description of this video. Finally, if you like this video, please consider subscribing and ringing the bell so you're notified every time I share another aquarium with you. And special thanks to my Patreon supporters who make these videos possible. Oh, and if you want to follow the day-to-day -day of what I'm working on in the aquarium world, consider following me on Instagram and Twitter. I've left links to those in the description as well.